we start with the puzzle. Many physics students have seen the four well-known equations of motion here, but in fact, since there are five variables, there is also a fifth equation. Do you know what it is? The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this Nothing Nerdy video on equations of motion. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. You should be able to make calculations about uniformly accelerated motion using the three formulas in the data booklet. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. The equations of motion are used for calculations about motion for which the velocity changes uniformly. This diagram shows a moving object with a constant acceleration, which is represented by the letter A. As well as the final and initial velocities V and U, the other variables in the equations are displacement S and time taken T. There are five possible equations of motion. Each one connects four of the quantities which describe uniformly accelerated motion. Here is the first one, which is made by rearranging the definition of acceleration. V equals U plus AT. Each equation includes four of the five variables. Another way of looking at it is that one variable is not included in the equation. For example, V equals U plus AT includes V, U, A and T, but not S. Another equation of motion is found by equating two formulas for average velocity. This is the equation which does not include acceleration, A. S equals V plus U times T over 2. If we now substitute equation 1 into equation 2, we can make a third equation, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Here V is the variable which is not used. The fourth equation is also found by combining two equations. If you are interested in how it's done, pause the video and study this derivation. The resulting equation is v squared equals u squared plus 2as, which uses all of the variables except for t. There is a very useful method to avoid mistakes when making calculations, which follows the acronym if c up. Information, formula, substitute, evaluate, answer, unit, precision. Let's apply the if c up method to a question. A plane lands and its velocity changes from 100 to 20 meters per second over a distance of 720 meters. What is its average acceleration? So the information we have is V, U and S, which is three variables, so we know we can find any of the others. We need A. The formula using these variables is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. We rearrange it to find A, and then we substitute in the numbers, and finally we arrive at 6.7 metres per second squared. The precision should be two significant figures, which is the same as the least precise figure, which is 20 metres per second. So we write that the acceleration is 6.7 metres per second squared in the opposite direction to the motion. For this question, we have to decide which formula to use so that we know we have the quantities S and T and U, and we want to find A, and therefore S equals UT plus a half AT squared is the formula we're going to use. We substitute into that the numbers that we know, we rearrange it, and that will give us this uh, calculation here, 100 divided by 6.25, and the answer is 16 meters per second squared. Here is the answer to the puzzle we asked at the beginning. Most textbooks mention four equations, and it's true that we can calculate anything using these. But there is a fifth one, which is the equation which omits the initial velocity u. It is found using the same method we used to prove s equals ut plus a half at squared. The result is very similar. s equals vt minus a half at squared.